Good morning, Pally. Today is Thursday, November 7, 2024. I'm Saman Vika Sandal Kumar. And I'm Alana Milne. So, Saman Vika, if the role is ending tomorrow, which in focus member would you want with you? I would have to say I would choose Neil Satyavolu, the computer king, because his knowledge would really help out in an apocalypse. That's a great choice. Vikes, softball season is fast approaching. Pally's softball preseason meeting will take place on November 19 at 4.20 p.m. at the Pally softball field. If you or someone you know is interested in playing softball at Pally, come on out to meet the coaches, players, and also participate in Q&A about the season. Both returning and new players are welcome. Follow their Instagram for more information. Pally Theater will soon be presenting Thornton Wilder's Our Town, which shows us three days in Grover's Corners, a small New England town in the early 1900s. But its coming of age story has been resonating with audiences all over the world for nearly 100 years. Come watch a community of students bring this town and Wilder's visionary theatrical style to life. Purchase tickets today at the Pally Theater website linked on screen. Hi Vikings, come to PAYC's Movie Night on November 8th, 7.30 to 9.15 p.m. at the Mitchell Park Community Center. Bring your friends and family. All ages are welcome. Popcorn, baked goods, and hot chocolate and more will be provided. Last Thursday, InFocus talked to many trick-or-treaters on Waverly Street on Halloween. Now let's take a look at the behind the scenes of that spooky night. InFocus reporter Melody Shu has more. Halloween is one of the most exciting events of the year. Lots of people dress up in fun costumes and go trick-or-treating around Palo Alto. But this would not be possible without the people who decorate their houses and pass out candy. This year, we visited Waverly Street to see what goes on behind the scenes of Halloween. I like the happiness of the kids. <laughs> I also love the small kids, but the atmosphere, music, uh, lots of people, and uh, lots of happiness. Yeah. It takes a lot. Yeah, we, we first we planned uh, that everything would be, so it's cardboard, it's skeleton. Then I had to buy everything, and then we, we, we built, we set, set up everything of, of the scenario. Get the candies, yeah, it takes, it takes some time, but it's nice. For me, it's uh, the small children. They are super happy when they get the candies, and uh, there was one yeah. uh, very small child. He was crying, and when he got the candy, it so suddenly he smiled. I like people come to our house to get candy, trick and treat, and say happy Halloween. So it's a big party for everyone. Sometimes it takes longer, sometimes like, it depends. Like this year, we have the skeleton there, and this is easy to decorate. But sometimes we'll have like some big web, so that takes a long time. Despite the hard work that goes into decorating these houses, many say it is rewarding to see the smiles in return. Oh my God, I love the trick-or-treaters. Um, and I love decorating. I love all the trick-or-treaters. I love passing around candy and getting to know my neighbors and having all the wonderful people come stop by. I started about a month ago and I just love this holiday so much. So I've spent probably uh, 10 hours total between shopping and decorating. Oh, the kids coming over in their costumes and just really having fun and giving away candies. That's the best part. I think just like the smiles, like I really enjoy it when they like, you know, smiling and they're happy because they get a candy. Without the people behind the scenes of Halloween, this holiday would not be the same. For In Focus News, I'm Melody Shu, co-reporting with Nicole Liu and Liani Regade. Thanks Melody and Nicole. That does it for today's show. Follow us on social media at In Focus News to engage with our content and visit our website to view today's campus post. Until next time, I'm Samanvika Sendal Kumar. And I'm Alan Milman, and this has been In Focus News. Have a great day, Vikings!